Howdy y'all. Welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today I am doing a review on two different products from Vastfire. I've done some reviews on some of the other flashlights as well, and I'll put a link in the description as well as up here in the top. But I wanted to go through these. They asked me to do a comparison on these two flashlights. So I'm going to start with this one here and then jump into this one. I'll show some night footage as well as some other features of each of these as well. So we'll start here with this power style. It looks very similar to the case that the other one came in. It says power, power light, energy saving, waterproof, explosion proof. It says it has 800 meters of a reflective radiation distance. It's waterproof, uh, energy saving light. So let's open it up. Again, it comes in a pretty nice case here. Everything's kind of packaged individually. You've got a pressure switch here that you can route along your gun. This is your charger. Like on the other models, it does come with two different batteries. This one actually does come with some Velcro that has, I believe, tape on the other side. So you can actually mount your pressure switch, which is really nice that it comes with that. And then it also comes with your light mount and the Allen wrenches you need to mount the light on your gun. This is a Picatinny rail mount. And then of course, your vast fire flashlight. Again, this is about six to eight inches or so in length. You know, seems heavy duty. It's got a big open reflective screen here, which is kind of nice. So we'll go ahead and unscrew this and install a battery. So it doesn't really tell you which way the battery goes, but I believe the positive or the side with the little bump on it faces down. Go ahead and put this top back on. Tighten it down. As you can see, that works. And just looking at it, it is very bright. It does not look like it has the ability to change you know, your beam pattern. So you just get one solid beam and I'll show you all at nighttime that as well. And so now I have the NVF, I believe, tactical flashlight. This one, I believe, uh, let's see, it says 1600 lumens, waterproof, three and a half hour lasting illumination, shock proof. Ooh, there's a bunch on the back. It has five different light modes, max, medium, low, strobe, and SOS. Comes with a battery, waterproof IP65, 10 watts, aluminum alloy. So we'll go ahead and open this up and take a look at it. Comes in a nice case, but not the, you know, same green case as some of their other ones have come in. Has a little instruction manual here. Similar bullet points as to what was on the back. We'll take a look at that. This is a little bit nicer of a uh, setup. You know, if you're not gonna keep it in a box like this other one, you know, it all comes right here and it's in this foam. So again, similar Picatinny rail mount. Um, I believe this may be your different lens colors. On this, you have another pressure switch mount to a gun. It looks like they already have the Velcro attached on one side. Similar setup though. This just comes with a USB cord. So my guess is you can directly connect that into your flashlight, which it does look like the case. So here there's your micro USB. So you can charge your battery just as it's in the flashlight, which is kind of nice actually. 
So a little bit different than the other vast fire is you don't have the button on the back. Your button is actually on this opposite side of where you charge it. And we will go ahead and open it up. And it does come with only one battery on this one. So similarly, you'll put the positive or the bump side down and we'll, oh, it's already back on. Okay. So it does come with a uh, little cable here, cord as well. What's nice on this one is it has a spot, although it doesn't, it has this piece here. So you can actually, if you want to put it around your wrist and tighten it down, you can do that. Um, that way it's always there. You can hook it onto something else, but we will turn it on. Similar, this does not have an ability to uh, focus your beam in or out here. So it comes with what you get and I'll show you all that uh, in a nighttime video as well. I'm also gonna charge these batteries just to make sure I'm getting the best output when I do the nighttime video. So on this button, if you just click it once, it goes to medium, low, flashing, SOS, off. I believe if you hold it for two seconds, it shuts off as well. So if you don't want to cycle through everything, it gives you that option. Let's see if it turns on with the same setting. So it does not look like it. So it doesn't look like you can pick a mode or level for it to turn on and it's always going to turn on at high. So just a note there. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and charge these batteries up and we will take a look at night how that shows up and I will do a comparison between the two. Oh, I almost forgot these lenses. Let me see how we can swap the lens out here. So I believe it comes with this little lens here and that's your clear lens. And you also have a blue. I assume that's a red. It looks kind of orangish and a green lens as well. So we'll just swap one of these in here. Um, so this lens does have a little rubber piece around it that you wanna make sure you keep. So we'll put the green lens in and just see how that looks too. And I can show each lens at nighttime as well. That way you can get an idea of how bright it is. There we go. Green light's pretty bright, actually. So just doing a quick comparison, I have the vast fire in my hand over here, and this is the move flash light on this one. So the vast fire is definitely heavier than the move fire, but again, it's also, you can see the difference between the light size there, and you can see, here, let's see if you can see that. You know, it's definitely a little wider height-wise, Let's see, you can see it's mm, a half inch taller or so. Grip, I actually like the grip of the Vast Fire a little bit better. It seems to fit my hand better. This one just seems to have a lot of different, you know, features on it. I'm not sure why it has all these little grip points, but not as comfortable. So overall, I mean, the Vast Fire feels better in my hand than this guy does. But again, if you're putting on a gun, that probably is not a huge deal. Now, if you want something lighter on a gun, this may be your best bet here, this move flash. So as far as the light strength goes, we'll go outside and take a look and see which one seems brighter. And then we'll also test out the different colors on this move flash as well. First, I'm going to test out the vast fire flashlight. So you can see it's pretty bright. Ignore the mess as I'm uh, doing some yard work here. It lights up the whole area. So that yard, that fence is about 20 to 25 yards away. You can get an idea of how bright it is. On this one, you just have one mode on and off. You can see uh, up in the tree there, it goes pretty far. So pretty bright flashlight here. 
you can see my trail camera I'm testing out right there as well. So the next flashlight here is the Move Flash. This is the one that has uh, multiple colors and multiple modes, so we'll just start with the white. So this one again is pretty bright, but I don't think it's quite as bright as the other one. So that's the bright, then you have medium, low, flashing, and SOS, and it shuts off. So I'm going to put the two lights side by side on the fence, and you can tell me which one's brighter. On the left we have the fast fire. On the right will be the move flash. So that's the vast fire, and then the move flash is on the right. So brightness seems to be similar. The move flash is more of a white light, it looks like. I still think the vast fire is a little bit brighter, and it's more concentrated on the middle, whereas the, the move flash spreads out a little bit. Okay, so I'm not going to test out all the colors, but I'll show you green. There's the pup there. This is the green on the move flashlight. So it actually looks pretty good. You could probably put it on your gun and actually get out pretty far with it. I mean, you can kind of see up in the tree, which probably not a good example, but I mean, I think that'd be pretty good. You may even be able to put this on a bow if you want and do some bow hunting with it. So now we'll test out the red. Hmm, that kind of looks pink to me, but Looks red in the video, it definitely looks more like pink in person though. So I think uh, if I'm going to use the red or green, it would probably be the green light. I wanted to do a little side-by-side -side comparison so you can see the sizes here. Let's make sure that's... Those are butted up and the vast fire is a little bit longer. So after the video and the test of the two different lights, I think the vast fire would be the one that I would prefer. I think it feels a little bit better. I think it's a little bit brighter. However, I really like the green light on this smooth flash. So if you're interested in a green light flashlight, that's definitely a good option. If you're just looking for a budget friendly, white, bright light, I definitely take a look at the vast fire. The link to both these will be below in the description as well. Thanks for watching.